Welcome to VLB Halloween. Today I'm going to show you how to create this scary glam clown makeup. Clowns are like the hot new thing this year for Halloween 2017, and I thought I'd share my take on one. She could be like the sister of Pennywise, maybe? She's pretty, but kind of scary. If you love her, be sure you smash that subscribe button right now. And without further ado, cue that makeup tutorial. Alright, so as always, you want to go ahead and block out those brows. We don't need them. We haven't needed them for like any of these Halloween looks. And now I'm going to go ahead and prime my skin. I always prime my face and I do prime my body because most of the time I do paint my body, so it's nice to prime both. I'm going to cover up my brows using some thick concealer that's really going to seal them in, lock them right away. And make sure you're really pressing that in. For foundation, we're going to be using a white cream paint and I'm going all over the face with this, really blending it in. I wanted to do a mask at first, but I changed my mind, so I decided to go ahead and cover my whole face with this white cream paint. And as you can see, you can really build it and make it super white or as light as you want. Here I'm going to take a white face powder and seal those brows away even further, just setting them in place because we're going to be painting over them. And here we go, we're going to start painting over them. I'm using a water activated paint first and an angled brush. I wanted really rectangular shaped brows that gave a really mean, scary look. So these are going to be pretty thick. I just went in and just kind of played around until I got the shape that I wanted. And then I curved up the front area of the brow using my Delium Tools brush. And I'm just going in and winging out that brow. Similar to what I do with a lot of my looks. And get that other brow on. You need that other brow. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the lid. I'm using a red eyeshadow here to really blend in all over that lid up into the brow. And this is a really hot red shade that is going to look really nice with our whole look because we're using tons of reds, blacks, and a little bit of white here and there. So I'm going to take a black eyeshadow and start to create this halo eye. This is like super exaggerated halo eye over here. But I went in in the inner corner of the eye and also the outer corner really winging that out and then upwards. Very unlike your regular halo eye, put it that way. So just pack in that black and now I'm going to go in with a black eyeliner and fill in that waterline with it. Get it nice and smoky, that's what we want, really smoky, smudgy lower lash line. And now I'm going in with a black shadow and a brush just to blend all of this out and I'm bringing this onto the outer corner of the eye and also the inner corner. Really want to smoke that out so make sure you're really dragging that out towards the outer corner of your eye. Smoky eyes are my favorite, I have to say. I feel like I do them with a lot of my looks, but I feel like the look isn't complete without some black and some smoke. So as you can see here, I created this cut on the eyebrow area that we drew in, but I do this on my mouth later, so I'm actually going to skip this step and wait till later at the end of the tutorial to show you how to do this SFX cut. It's actually really easy. So here I'm going to go ahead and create a similar line on the other brow, and I'm just winging this right up. It's very similar to the other one, except it's not an SFX cut, it's just paint. And this little point that you see on the brow is really similar to a lot of clown looks. It's pretty classic with a lot of them, so I wanted to keep this. I went over the whole face just blending in my foundation because cream paint can get pretty messy after a while. I'm next going over with some red glitter on the lid, and I wanted to make this kind of messy, but I brought it all the way up to the brow so it's super shiny under the light. It'll look really nice if you're going to a Halloween party. You want to really exaggerate that glitter. Here I'm taking a red eyeshadow, and I'm just going to go ahead and smoke out that lower lash line. Using a red all the way on the lower lash line and smoking it out really gives a very creepy, scary look under the eyes. Makes it really dramatic and harsh. Blend, blend, blend that cream foundation. We know it can get messy. Alright, so now I'm going to go in and create those points underneath the eye using a red water-activated paint from Mayron. And I'm still using that Delium Tools brush here. I decided to go ahead and create these jester-like lines on the corner of my eye using a black water-activated paint. And I went in and filled these in. And you can go back in with this and perfect it and get it really, really opaque and red. That's what I love about water activated paint. You can really control the consistency of it depending how much water you use. So I was pretty light with the water so I could get a nice, opaque, black and red wing under those eyes. And I also created one that was going, like, almost looked like it was coming underneath that black wing. So here I'm going to go ahead and start smudging out the lower lash line using a black shadow. And I'm going to start contouring the face with the black as well. It was pretty light-handed with the black at first and then deepened as I go. I wanted to create a really thin 
face structure. So I really carved out this face with that black shadow. And for the clown cheeks, usually clowns have like some sort of blush going on in their face. So I used a red and I placed it right between those two stripes that we have on the eyes. This really lifted the face and kept that clown look going. And now I'm just going ahead with a white shadow and really cutting that cheek so we get a nice sharp jawline going. You can really go right up against that. And I'm taking whatever that is left on my brush and just going around the face to really kind of dirty it up and smoke it out. I went in with the fluffy brush and that black shadow again just to further sharpen up that contour and get those jawline cheekbones on fleek. I'm taking that brush again and going on the nose and I'm going to contour it out using that black shadow. And then to blend it into the face I just used a white powder. I'm applying a little bit more glitter to the eye just because I felt like it needed some more. When do we not need more glitter? Seriously. Alright, so for mascara, I'm just popping on a few coats of it because I'm going to be wearing false lashes today. These are really thick drag lashes, which are perfect for this look. They're super dramatic and really, really long. So just pop these right on. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the lips. I'm using a black liquid lipstick. And we're going to go with the signature clown mouth, but I am going to do an SFX cut on one side of the mouth. So you want to just put on your lipstick, black lipstick first, and then take a little bit of it on a small brush and wing out the lips into a clown mouth. You want to connect this to your top and bottom lip when you do it, and that will really give that traditional clown mouth look. And I went for something that wasn't too over-exaggerated because I wanted all the drama to be on the other side of the mouth. I'm using just some tissues first. I'm going to measure this out so it's not too big of a cut. I'm pretty much winging this up all the way to the ear. I cut a little bit of it off until I liked the fit of it. And then going in with some Prosade, I went and just pressed this right down onto my face, connecting to my mouth. You really want to press that in so it sticks nicely. And here I'm using some liquid latex on a makeup sponge and I'm just dotting this on the corners of the tissue. You want to make sure this blends into your skin really well and you can't see any of the tissue kind of popping off. So using the latex really helps blend everything together as well as stick it on really, really good so it doesn't move. This is going to add some texture too to our look, so make sure you add a little bit of extra in the center of the tissue. Here I'm just using some tweezers to go in between the tissue and rip a cut into it. This is going to make it look like our skin is that tissue, and we're just doing a few rips here and there to give some texture to the cut. I normally don't do SFX cuts, honestly, I don't really like gory looks. Uh, they kind of gross me out a little bit, but um, I didn't want to do too intense of a cut for this look. So I'm just using some black water activated paint to give the cut some depth, and then going in with a red cream paint mixed with a little bit of brown to make it look a little bit bloody. You really want to get around the cut. I used sort of a neon red water activated paint to give the look of like neon blood, something a little bit less nasty. I was kind of going for I didn't want it to be too gross. So I went in and just ripped a few tears into that cut just a little further. And now I'm going right back in with that black water activated paint just to add some more depth to it. I'm just blending everything together and this is exactly how I did the one that's on my brow so just follow the same step just cut a smaller piece it's the exact same way and don't forget your stage blood I did apply a little bit into the cut now for the neck I just wanted to do something pretty traditional with the clowns you see them with a lot of like ribbons around their neck and they have different pieces that they wear so I wanted to do something that was really creepy and uneven so I made these crinkly little ribbons I did white, red, and black, and I sort of overlap them in a way, so they look like they're going under each other, and this gives kind of like a 3D effect when you do this, so sort of layered them all around. And because we're doing this, we're not going to have to paint our body white or anything. I mean, clowns are human, so you don't have to paint your body white or anything like that. And here I'm just going in and shading these ribbons out to give them some dimension. I'm just using a black shadow. I wanted to add some glimmer and shine to this look, so I did pop on some rhinestones to the face and also on these little ribbons coming down from my neck. And then for the wig, I wanted something super frizzy and this is like a dirty blonde color. I went in with some red spray that can wash out of your hair, but since this is a wig, I really didn't mind messing it up. I thought it was perfect with the red, so I just sprayed it right into the bottom of the ponytails that I tied up into the wig. And yeah, it kind of gives me like Harley Quinn vibes in a way. I love it. 
I hope you guys loved this clown tutorial. If you did love it, be sure you subscribe for more. Like this video if you did enjoy it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in my next Halloween tutorial.